Hello. In this demo video, we'll be looking at how you can use your Researcher Life dashboard. So you can use your dashboard for multiple things. Firstly, you can optimize your manuscript before you submit it to a journal, which helps you reduce the time to publication and minimizes your chances of desk rejection. You can also find research papers which are relevant to your work, which minimizes the time that you spend searching for research. And thirdly, you can find courses and learn new skills with webinars, master classes, and different formats. So this helps you learn from the collective experience of research experts. Now let us look at how you can make use of your dashboard to do these once you have completed your onboarding. You can choose to onboard through two, two ways, either directly through the global onboarding that you encounter when you log in for the first time, or else you can choose to onboard through the personalization widget. So in order to understand how you can set up your Research Your Life dashboard, I would recommend that you check the first demo video in the series. Once you have set up your dashboard, this is how it would look like. The first section that you have in the middle pane is called Current Research Projects, where you will find submission readiness recommendations related to the manuscript that you have uploaded. So this basically gives you a score for the manuscript that you have uploaded and some recommendations around how you can improve your manuscript. You can choose to upload a new version to recheck the score once you have made edits. You can also click on view the report in order to see detailed recommendations. In case you want to find journals that you can submit your paper to, you have that option as well. And in case you want to upload a new manuscript, you can choose to do so. A detailed demo on how you can make use of this particular section is available within the series of demo videos. Moving on to the next section, it's around the interesting reads. This is based on the topics of interest that you have given us. So here I have given cancer patients, cancer cells, and cancer as my topics of interest. Based on that, I'm receiving six article recommendations which are relevant to me. So you can choose to click on this in order to read the article, or in case you want to see more recommendations, you can click on view. If you feel that you would like to change your topics of interest, you can click on change or add to do so. This section also gives you some additional recommendations related to the topics that you have selected. So in case there are some recommendations that you haven't added to your feed yet, you can choose to explore the articles within this and add them to your feed. The next section is around learning and improving your skills. Once you select your topics of interest to upskill with us from the initial onboarding, you get three top recommendations of courses related to the topics that you have selected. In. So in case you are interested in viewing these courses, you can click on them and you'll be able to find the course details. In case you want more recommendations, you can click on view. If you want to modify your topics of interest in upskilling, you can do so from change or add. There are some additional topics that are available over here. In case you want to explore the what are the popular courses that we have within our platform for upgrading yourself. Apart from these three sections, we also have something called researcher stories, which is a curated collection of stories hosted by researchers. On the right pane, you have one card related to our community, which you can select to explore the community. We also have one section related to the upcoming and past events that we have conducted. This particular section directs you to a AI driven and human curated collection of news, literature reviews, and multiple resources specific to COVID-19 research. And in case you want to understand more about our products and solutions, you can do so by clicking on each of these logos. So this is what you can do on the dashboard. On the left pane tabs, you can see we have four upcoming tabs. One is specific to how you can manage your research projects. Another which is specific to your reading needs, to your learning needs, and to your community needs. In case you find any of these interesting and you would like to subscribe to them, do remember, click on the notify me button so that we can notify you as soon as these are ready. 
Apart from that, in case we want to access our existing products, you can do so from the nine dot menu that we have on the left pane, where you will be able to switch between the products. In case you want to find more about us, you can do so over here. In case you want to switch your language, you can do so from the language switcher. In case you want to change your password or sign out, you can do so from here. And if you have any questions that are not addressed with these videos, you can choose to go to your FAQs and look at the list of questions we have readily available. If your question is still not resolved, feel free to write to us and we'll respond to you. Hope this video was useful to you. Thank you so much. Thank you.